thing. <laughs> it's been very good so far. I already had to wash one baby who was full of shit. But anyway. Right. So what time was it now? We're taking the kids to school. They're safe. That's good. You can get in now. Time to go to the office. What's the plan for today? The plan for today? Well, first we need to do the weekly meeting. It's a 15 minute meeting where we make sure everyone is on track. We see what's been done the previous week. We see what needs to be done now. If there are any new projects, what needs to be closed off. And we see how everyone's doing, if they're managing or if they're stuck on something. That is the first thing. We also need to plan for any Y events we're having later. We need to see what to do to make our stand interesting. We did some ideas though. And I have some dental and resin stuff I need to set up. So those are fun.
They're from Germany, actually. And they study technical... Technical something, it doesn't say in the email. They're studying engineering. Okay. Yeah. And they're coming to visit? Um, or they want to visit? They want to visit. They come on the 14th of May. And they're here for three weeks. And they're gonna accept them? Yeah, of course, of course. I need to get back to them though. So this is part of your morning routine, checking emails uh, about the relationship with the company or something like that? Yeah, or pretty much. I mean, this happened because I went to a networking event and I was in touch with these people, so... I'm getting a lot of emails about it now that I need to get back to. But I will handle the emails after I set up the resume print. So that by end of day those will be ready. Okay. Ideally. So now we're going to go to the resin station and set up the dental prints. Yay. Hey Luca, do we have any gloves? Excellent, thank you. So this is the resin we use for the surgical guides. bridge now because I have a meeting with the accountant to see what needs to be done, what needs to be fixed and what we need to do. <laughs> First bridge are an accountancy firm. Okay. They do accounts, obviously. They also uh -huh. do, um, they help out startups. Oh no? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, they help out startups a lot. So I don't know what's happening here. They're painting. They're painting the floor. They're painting. A nice fresh zebra crossing. Oh, they're using a stencil. That's I'm always excited for accounts. I'm very happy with the meeting. There needs to be some adjustments, I guess. I need to fix a couple of things, but it will be fine. The hardest part of dealing with accountants as a startup, at least for me, I do not have any background in accounting at all. It's a, it's a learning process, I guess. Now it's better. Now it's better. The current team helps quite a bit. Definitely. Do you think there is space in, uh, in startups in trusting people blindly apart from co-founders? Nope. 
Only the co-founders. <laughs> no one else. Can't trust anyone else. Most important thing is trusting yourself, though. That's the hardest part. Like, assuming that you're doing a good job and going with your gut. What's the hardest thing in your day? That's a tough one. I think the... I'm not going to say the hardest, but the more chaotic part is definitely the beginning and the end. Like, when all the kids are awake and you're trying to get everyone out of the door on time. And then at the end of the day, when you're just trying to get them ready to go to bed. The hardest part is trying to balance it all. And the mental strain, honestly. Because I spend a lot of time thinking, feeling a bit of guilt that I have to send them to after school in order to work. And it goes the other way as well. Like, when I was spending more time with them, I was feeling guilty that I wasn't working. Because right now, they're all so young that I can't actually do both at the same time. When I was trying to work from home, they were just cling being very clingy. They wouldn't let me actually do anything or focus on anything. You know, kid stuff. They want to spend time with, ma with mama, you know? But like this, I guess it works better. No, it definitely works better because when I go home, then I can actually spend time with them and not worry about the things that happen during work. Okay, quiet. <laughs> Realistically, I'm still going to be worrying, but at least I won't be struggling trying to get the work done at the same time as giving attention to my kids. So, happy medium, I suppose. The thing is, when we started out, we had met with someone who said that he would never invest in couples because it's too risky. There's always a chance that they'll divorce, you know? And he said he'll only invest in couples when he knows that they've been married for like 14, 15 years, something like that. I remember thinking at that point, so what do we do now? Does this mean that we're never going to get any investment because we're a couple? Because people are just going to see husband and wife. Oh, it's risky. They might get divorced. Shall we just... Shall one of us just like pretend to be the employee as opposed to the employer? I just... Uh, hard decisions to make. In the end, we decided not to <laughs> do that because we're both directors of the company. So... So far, so good, you know? It works. No, 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 no. That's it. We're done. I need to get back to work now. Okay. So thanks for watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.